Happy birthday, my fellow Geminis. It's your fellow Gemini, Jilly. We are starting with the Geminis because it is our birthday month and then we're gonna go from astrological order from that point. So we're gonna start with the Gemini singles, then our couples, then the It's Complicated reading, and then the short mini reads with each zodiac sign. Please look at the timestamps below to skip to the portion of the video that you are more interested in. Now we're gonna go ahead and get started. Now please remember this will not, I repeat, will not resonate with every single Gemini. Please check out your sun, moon, Venus, or rising placements. If this reading does not re resonate, just check out those other placements. And if any of my readings don't resonate, then maybe my particular cards don't have a message for you this month. And check out one of our lovely other readers here on YouTube. I believe we should support one another. Now let's go ahead and get started. Now. All right, my Gemini singles, let's see what's going on for you guys. Oh, I got two cards I want to come out. Oh, I got the sun and the wheel of fortune. That's awesome. That's awesome. Love it. All right, getting off to a positive start here, Gemini. Oh, we got the ten of pentacles. Okay, perfect. So, zodiac signs I see right off the bat. I have strong Leo with the sun card. Also, Leo is in the wheel of fortune card, but I also have Scorpio. I also have Aquarius and Taurus. Now, that could be in their sun, moon, Venus, or rising placement. So I do see somebody who you make happy, who you just illuminate their world, Gemini. Now, as far as how you know this person, I'm going to get some clarification, okay? Because it is not telling me exactly how you know this person or when you'll meet this person. I don't even know if you have your eye on somebody. You're trying to see if they're going to come towards you. So let's just find out what's going on here. How does Gemini singles know this person? How does Gemini singles know this person? Ooh. Okay, I got the four of coins. Oh, and the two of swords. Okay. So Gemini, the person who may be coming your way, I'm not going to lie to you. You do make them happy based with the sun card. However, I think they confuse you because they hold their emotions in. So you have a suspicion of who this is. So in your mind, like, I think they like me, but I'm not sure. They're not showing me how they're feeling. It's just, right now you're going kind of slightly on your intuition, Gemini. Because this person is really good at guarding all their feelings they have for you. I do have a feeling, though, they have to make a choice. I don't know what that choice is. So let's figure that out. Gemini, I'm just going to be honest with you. This person that is interested in you or maybe that you're interested in might be already involved. That's just the feeling I'm getting in my head. Oh, yeah. They have they have to think about something. They're contemplating it right now. This is somebody who thinks makes their choices very carefully. You may be dealing with a Virgo or maybe in their sun, moon, rays are rising. But this is definitely somebody who... Um, I'm not going to lie, Gemini. I think this person you find boring well, at first. You initially found this person boring at first. I feel like you feel this person is a little bit too logical, a little too practical for your taste. However, I do see you liking this person based on the Wheel of Fortune card and the out outcome being the Ten of Coins. Um, so if there's somebody who's around you who you initially thought was boring or just a little bit too... Um, proper for your taste this is the person who's interested in you believe it or not now because it's not clarifying exactly what this person has to do to make a choice i'm going to ask for the hidden truth card i couldn't let you get close to me oh gemini why can't this person let you get close to them? Let's get one more card here. This is the Message of Love Oracle card deck. Oops. Apology. You can expect the apology you want to hear. Oh, my Gemini singles. I do not like where this is going. All right. So this person, I'm going to be honest, 
I'm going to go with my initial thought, especially if my cards are confirming it. The person you are interested in or the person who's interested in you is already in a relationship. I dare say they're in a marriage based on this card. Gemini singles, I'm not here to judge you. We have no, I believe everything happens for a reason in this world. But just keep in mind that this person is in their head about you. They are thinking about you. They are trying to make a decision of whether or not to pursue you. But right now they're in hermit mode. And this Wheel of Fortune card here is telling me that there's two scenarios here. Because I'm talking to many Gemini singles here. That one, they see you as something that they could, that they can hit the jackpot with you. That everything would be so good if they were with you. Or, or maybe they're just being very greedy. And they want everything. They want their partner and they want you. They want to have it all. But I'm going to be honest with you. I'm thinking that they're more leaning towards wanting it all. Not saying that some of them, they don't see you as everything they could ever want. But I'm going to say for the majority of you Geminis, this person wants to have you and their person and have everything for them. Now, do I believe they care for you? Yes. Based on these two cards, I do think they care about you because they don't want you to get too close to them. Why? Why don't they want you to get close to them? Because they're going to have feelings for you. They're going to get attached to you. They are going to apologize because I believe they are. They have led you on, Gemini. This person has led you on. This, this reading definitely took an unexpected turn. When I saw those three happy cards, I was completely expecting something different. But then, of course, that's what clarifying cards are. They're here to clarify what's going on. Gemini, this person, honestly... They do care about you. They have feelings for you, but I don't think they're going to do anything about it. They don't want to lead you on. They are going to apologize to you about it. They're going to say, hey, I'm so sorry. Yes, I feel something for you, but I'm just not going to do it. I'm not going to cheat on my partner for you. I'm not going to leave my partner for you. I'm just not going to do it. I don't see them doing that, Gemini. I see them being stuck. I'm not stuck, but committed to their partner, and they're going to stay faithful. Um... Gemini's, I don't like telling my fellow signs bad news, but this is what it's looking like. Now, I don't think that's bad news, though. We've got to remember, divine timing is everything. So this is probably just clearing this out the way for you, my Gemini singles, and making something, making room for something more beautiful to come your way. All right, we're going to move on to my Gemini couples. If this resonated, even if it's not something you want to hear, if it's something that matched what you needed to hear, please hit that like button. I would greatly appreciate it. All right. We are going to move on to my Gemini couples. All right. So Gemini couples. All right. Perfect. All right. So my Gemini couples, let's find out what's going on for you this month in June 2024. Now, please remember, this is not going to resonate with every single Gemini. There's many of us out there. Please look up your sun, moon, Venus, or rising placements. So if this reason does not resonate with your sun sign, check out the other placements and readings and see if they better resonate. And none of my readings resonate with you. That just means my particular cards don't have a message for you this month. Check out all the other lovely, wonderful tarot readers we have here on YouTube. I believe we should support each other. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, my Gemini couples. What's going on with my Gemini couples? Now, couples could mean boyfriend, girlfriend in a committed relationship, engaged couple, or people who are already married. All right. What do my Gemini couples need to know for the month of June 2024? Ooh, all those cards want to spill out. I don't know those cards. Come on here, Willis. <laughs> all right. Oh, Page of Cups. Four of Pentacles. All right. We got the Four of Wands. All right. So somebody here in this relationship wants to start, make a new, um, they want to make a new change in this relationship. Now, what does that mean? For couples, that can mean many things. If you're boyfriend and girlfriend, this could probably mean, hey, let's move in together. Or, hey, 
I think we should get engaged. Or if you're engaged or married, hey, I think we should maybe try for a baby. Something like that. So I'm not saying that's what that is. But whenever there's a page of cups in a couple's reading, that means someone's trying to introduce something new. Something that's going to bring some more love and connection in the relationship. However, there's one of you here who's just completely closed off to the idea. Completely closed off to the idea. The person here is saying... Mm, I think we're good the way we are. I mean, we have everything we could possibly want. Why do we need to expand it? Mm. Let's get some clarification, shall we? All right. What is the person who's not really open to the idea feeling? What is the person who's really not open to the idea really feeling? Oh, 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 oh. Hold on. I look for you everywhere. Interesting. I wish I had treated you better. Interesting. Now, let's just be honest here. When I see these two cards with this card, I think this person is hurt. Or there's something going on that's making them not trust this offer, all right? Because it says, I look for you everywhere. I wish I had treated you better, okay? So this to me, you, I look for you ever. I wish I had treated you better. To me, in my head, that means somebody was searching for somebody and they found something out about this person. I wish I had treated you better. So this person who's closed off to the new opportunity in this relationship, it's because this person did something to this person in order to make them not open, all right? So, that being said, I think the only reason this person's making a new offer is because they feel like either guilty or they feel like if I don't do this, I know our relationship's going to end. So, yeah. Now, let's get some clarification here. I want to get some clarification on this card, this person. Because the outcome is a good outcome. The outcome is telling me that it's something to celebrate, that we're going to be celebrating here. All right? No, no, no. Yeah, this middle person, the one of the four of pentacles, they are just not. There's love there, though. If somebody's still there, that means there's still something worth fighting for. Oh yeah, we have a battle. And that's the five of swords. Gemini couples, I hate to say this, but you guys are going to have to fight. You guys are going to have to argue. You guys are going to have to lay it all out on the line. Bear your soul. They're going to bear their soul. There's going to be some harsh truths that are going to be revealed. And you can't heal until this stuff is said. Yep, I just said that. Didn't I just say you're not going to be better? You're not going to heal unless you get that low to bow? Because look, once you do that, it's going to lead you into this. See, this is victory here. Battling. Someone's going to walk away, upset, feeling defeated, but at the end of the way, someone's going to celebrate here. This is success. All right. So whoever this is trying to plant the seed of new beginnings, I think the person who's hurt is going to be like, uh-uh, I ain't dealing with that BS. We have to talk it out. You're not going to make me forgive you by buying me new things, offering me a new step in our relationship. We need to talk out this thing that you did that hurt me. I don't know what this person did to hurt this person. I don't know if there was cheating involved. I don't know if there was lying involved. I don't know if there was money involved. But there was something involved to where this person was not open to what this person was saying. All right? So I do see you guys hashing it out. It's going to be a tough Tough discussion. I'm not going to lie to you. It is. But it's something that needs to be said in order to achieve success in this relationship. But when you guys do this, when you guys do this, it's going to lead into a happy union. Now, this is, now if you look at this card carefully, it looks like somebody just got married, right? I'm not saying that you guys are going to be married because you guys could already be married couple watching this. But I do see this stepping forward into a new stage in your relationship, moving forward in your relationship, whatever moving forward your relationship may be. 
my Gemini couples. So this is good. It's a very good reading. You have to, sometimes you can't have happiness without dealing with a little bit of pain. You know, you can't identify happiness if you don't know how to identify sadness. But what doesn't kill us makes us stronger, even when it comes to love. Not trying to be cheesy here, but I'm going to quote Pat Benatar, love is a battlefield, and that's Pat Benatar. Don't give me Jordan Sparks. I know some of you guys are younger than me, and y'all have that younger generation, but love is a battlefield. I'm doing the Pat Benatar guy, all right? Now, we are going to move on to my It's Complicated readings for my Geminis who are in an It's Complicated relationship. Now, It's Complicated could mean anything from, I don't know if we are a couple or not, I don't know if this is a uh, friends with benefit situation. I don't know. It's complicated. It can be. It's complicated. It's never meant to be one type of thing. So let's find out what the it's complicated reading is for my it's complicated Gemini's. Now, remember Gemini's. This is not going to resonate with every single Gemini. If this reading does not resonate with your sun sign, please check out your Venus, Moon, or Rising sign and see if those readings better resonate with you. If none of my readings resonate then my particular cards don't have a message for you this month. Please check out one of the fabulous other YouTubers that we have that do readings because I believe we should support each other. Now, let's go ahead and get started. For my Geminis and its complicated relationship. All right, we have four swords. Knight of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. All right, Gemini, I see the Four of Swords, the Knight of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, fire Energy, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Um, Source energy is Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra, but I don't think this is a per that part's a person, but I'm still mentioning it because I see Source. Pentacles is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but the real person I see sticking out is the Knight of Wands. Now, please focus more on the energy of the card, not the signs that I shout out. I know you guys like me to mention that, but really it's more important that you focus on the energy. The energy of the Knight of Wands is somebody who has a lot of passion, a lot of sexual energy, towards somebody here. So there's no denying that there is an attraction with this person, Gemini, or this person is really attracted to you. I do see you guys laying in bed at night. I don't know if it's you thinking about them or thinking about you. It might be you guys thinking about each other. The only thing that concerns me is that I see this 10 of Pentacles. Because when it's in its complicated reading, I don't see the 10 of Pentacles leading to a committed relationship. I see that as somebody who's already in a relationship. Gemini. At least particularly, that's what I'm feeling strong. So you are either in a relationship or this person's in a relationship. And you know what, Gemini? I think I had that same feeling in your last month reading. So I think you're still dealing with the same person. If you're not, this might be a new person you're dealing with, but they're in a relationship. That's what it feels like so far. There's definitely some strong sexual attraction here, especially with that Knight of Wands. Hidden Truth Oracle Cards. I still wait for a sign from you. I don't react when people mention you. Okay, so this is very secretive, okay? This right here is very secretive. I don't react when people mention you. So which means there's some secrecy here. They, uh, either I think either you're waiting for a sign from them or them are waiting for a sign from you. Because right now, this is meditative state. This is someone who's not taking action. This is somebody who's thinking. I dare say fantasizing. Now, the Knight of Wands is someone who's very action-oriented. However, I think this is just describing the energy in the situation. There's some strong sexual attraction here. And I don't think you guys have made a move on each other. I think this is an... It's, complicated reading for people who are desiring each other and they're unsure of each other and wanting to know if they should make a move or not. Now let's go ahead and get some more. I'm going to get some clarification on this Knight of Wands energy here. 
Hold on. Okay. Temperance. Yeah, you guys haven't done anything yet. It's like you guys are patiently waiting. Which is kind of rare because Gemini's aren't patient. I'm just going to be honest with you. They're just not. Um, you could be over the Sagittarius. Could be. Ooh. <laughs> Knight of Swords. Did I just say y'all are not patient? Okay, I think you guys are getting tired of it. I think you guys, I think the energy between you and this other person is way too strong that one of you is going to give in. All right, one of you is going to give in very quickly. Um, and I'm going to be honest with you. I don't see this, um, I don't see this being, like, this, the tension staying there much longer. This is the Knight of Swords, that's Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So something might happen in Gemini season or maybe Libra season. I'm not going to say Aquarius season because the Knight of Swords is a very fast-moving energy. So there might be something that's going to be happening during Gemini season or Libra season at the latest. Oh, yes. The Empress. This is a very seductive, very tempting energy. Gemini, you're very tempted by this person, and they're very tempted by you. This sexual attraction is crazy between you guys. But the, the thing is, I think you guys also want to know if there is actual emotion here. Because when it's an, a complicated reading, usually when there is an it's complicated reading, we already know there's sexual tension. We already know there's sexual attraction here. And I and the thing with you two is that you guys are just kind of just feeling each other out. I see you guys flirting. I see you guys having banter, maybe joking around, but not quite showing that, hey, I'm interested. I, that's why that patience is like, mm, I'm tired of being patient. Okay. Is there emotions evolved in this is complicated reading? Is there emotions evolved involved in this it's complicated reading? Is there emotions involved in this is complicated reading? It was my fault that I blamed you. Interesting. I lost myself for a little while. I want to feel that way again. Okay, these cards weren't making sense until that last one came out. All right. Basically, this person, Gemini, was trying to act like they like, mm, I'm going to back away. I'm going to keep to myself and I'm not going to give in to this. Um, even though they really wanted to be with you, they were trying to blame you for tempting them, Gemini. They were trying to act like it's your fault. Like, how dare you come over here and tempt me? I lost myself for a little while. It's like they, they, I think they realized, okay, Gemini is not tempting me. I obviously want them. I obviously desire them. I want to feel that way again. So when they say, I want to feel that way again, usually that means when they're seeking something from a it's complicated relationship, that means they miss the initial love and excitement and joy that you get from a new relationship. So that I think they feel like they can feel that with you, Gemini. I don't like vagueness in my readings. So my angels need to step up their game. Angels, give me some clarity. Is there emotions evolve, involved in this it's complicated reading. Is there emotions involved in this it's complicated reading? Usually when my cards do that, that means there's a lot of intense energy between the two people. Acceptance. Everything happens for a reason. That doesn't tell me anything, angels. That does not tell me anything. I need clarity. Give Gemini the clarity that they need. Is there feelings involved 
and this it's complicated reading. This rejection is actually divine protection. Gemini, I'm sorry to say that if you were hoping that this would be a romantic connection, that this would lead to something, it will not. It will be a sexual attraction. They get the joy of that new initial feeling that you give them. If you give into this, that is what they're looking for at the moment because I do not see them leaving their partner for you. I just don't see them doing that. So take with that information what you will. If you are okay having a good time, then great, go for it. If you're hoping it's going to lead to something else, I wouldn't, I wouldn't count on it based on these cards. Um, again, so zodiac signs I see that you could be dealing with. I see the Empress now, so that could be Libra or that could be Taurus. I see Knight of Swords, that is Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Temperance, Sagittarius, Knight of Wands, that could be Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. All right, now we're going to do the mini readings with each zodiac sign. So we're going to go ahead and that. Alright, Gemini is dealing with an Aries. Gemini is dealing with an Aries. I still wait for a sign for you. Okay, so Aries wants to know if you're interested in them. Give them a hint. Give them a green light. Touch them on the shoulder. Compliment their looks. Say, hey, if I was single or hey, if you hit on me a bar, I wouldn't turn you down. They're looking for a sign from you, Gemini. They are interested. Alright. Next, Taurus. Gemini is dealing with a Taurus. Gemini is dealing with a Taurus. I look for you everywhere. Okay, so this, this Taurus is stalking your social media. If they work with you, they're trying to find any excuse to be around you in your area, Gemini. They like you. Gemini is dealing with another Gemini. Gemini is dealing with another Gemini. I know that I crossed the line with you. All right, so this Gemini wants your forgiveness, Gemini. They want your forgiveness. Gemini is dealing with a Cancer. Gemini is dealing with a Cancer. I don't react when people mention you. All right, I don't think they either. That can mean one of two things, Gemini. They either... Are like mm, I don't give a damn what Gemini is doing right now, or they're trying to hide their feelings for you. So this is a Cancer. It's more than likely they're hiding their feelings because they tend to like to um, hold their emotions inside and protect their heart. But don't be closed off the idea that they might not be interested. Gemini is dealing with a Leo. Gemini is dealing with a Leo. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. They ooh, when they say stay awake. I usually think that means sexy time, thinking about you, but they could also just be thinking about you because you make them happy. Gemini is dealing with a Virgo. Ooh, that's it. That one wanted to fall out. I love you unconditionally. Unconditionally. I mean, unconditionally. I don't know where my bad English is, but I know the Virgos who just saw me read that card were probably like, mm, girl, you said that wrong. But the Virgo loves you, Gemini. The Virgo loves you. Gemini is dealing with a Scorpio. Gemini is dealing with a Scorpio. Well, that's a lot of energy that Scorpio has towards you. I'll tell you that right now. Gemini, <laughs> Gemini is dealing with a Scorpio. I'm afraid to contact you. Interesting. I never really see a Scorpio ever being intimidated. So if they're scared to contact you, it's one of two things, Gemini. They're either afraid of your rejection or they want your forgiveness for something. Either way, that means they care about you. Gemini is dealing with a Sagittarius. Gemini is dealing with a Sagittarius. I hid who I really am from you. Okay, so Sagittarius is hiding something from you, Gemini. 
there's something that they're hiding from you that's usually never a good thing find out what it is Gemini thing with the Capricorn Gemini thing with the Capricorn it was my fault but I blamed you okay so this is somebody obviously who is not willing to accept any blame even though they know they did wrong so move on Gemini Gemini is in with an Aquarius. Gemini is in with an Aquarius. I know I messed up everything. Okay, so this, this Aquarius recognizes that they did something that they shouldn't have done. They do recognize that. So obviously they understand that what they did was wrong. And because they acknowledge that, Gemini, they do care about how you think of them. So just keep that in mind. Gemini is dealing with the Pisces. Gemini is dealing with the Pisces. You were the best thing in my life. So there's a Pisces out there who regrets losing you, Gemini. They obviously think about you from time to time, and they obviously think that you were the best thing that ever happened to them. If you still have feelings for that Pisces, Gemini, and you think you guys can work it out, I say go for it. All right, that's it for my mini readings for each zodiac sign. I hope my Geminis enjoyed this video. If you do, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment below. Thank you so much. I love you. Namaste.